Hello everybody, welcome to this work world. My name is Joe and I have a very very special video. In this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of airways in Reykjavik, Iceland. I'm going to give you some really good handy tips that you should really know about and also I'm going to take some of my footage from last year just to give you a sense of what's it going to be like, what to expect, that type of thing. So without further ado, let's go to somewhere a bit more comfortable and let's jump straight into it. So the music festival has been going since 1999. It's mainly based in Reykjavik, but it's also a new part of the festival in Akureyri, in the northern part of Iceland. It runs from the 1st to the 5th of November. All you can do is buy yourself a ticket and exchange it for a wristband. And with this wristband, you can go to the venues which are organized by Airways. On top of that, there's also off-venue gigs as well, where it's completely free. So the reason why I love Airways is because it's a city festival and I love exploring a city through its venues. Uh, you've got venues which are very small and intimate in bars, in shops, in record stores, but you also have the really big and massive dance halls. I've enjoyed it so much I've decided to come back and this is my third year. Okay, let's get straight into the tips. The first tip is you should definitely get the app. The app contains the schedule, a list of all the bands, a map, and also has this neat little feature called a music recommender. What it does, it actually scans your Spotify and also your Facebook and gives you a short list of, of the bands, which leads me quite nicely to Spotify. So Spotify is really handy because there's an epic playlist of over 200 songs last for I think somewhere between 12 to 14 hours. What I also recommend is that you create yourself your own playlist of the, your picks and share it around so that everybody can get an idea of what you like and you can help others as well. Winning! So I usually choose between six to nine bands what I really, really want to see during the day and I don't try and overdo it. You might be tempted to rush from venue to venue but what you'll find is that some of the venues get really, really busy a lot quicker. So especially on a Friday and a Saturday where you might get caught up in the queues and some of the venues are really, really small so you get crowded really, really quickly. If there's one particular band that you want to see, what I recommend you do is see the band before, hang around to the actual band you want to see. That way you can guarantee that you're going to see the band. It's great to have some random choices and allow for a bit of serendipity. I've discovered some amazing bands when I've just walked around. There's also an industry part. So if you're interested in, in music industry or you're part of it or you're, you actually have your own band, it's probably a good idea if you guys want to check out some of these industry events. Quite a few of them are invite only. But on top of that, there are lots of musical talks on topics such as the music industry, music tech, talks from other musicians, and also local music initiatives. Drinking tips. Chances are you probably enjoy a bit of a drink. So one of the cheapest places to buy booze is at the Duty Free at Catholic Airport. Also get the Happy Hour app because the app shows you all the happy hour times and gives you a chance to do a bit of a pub crawl and also save some cash. Booze in Iceland, as you can imagine, is a little bit expensive. All the shops selling booze are actually government owned and they usually close quite early, uh, around about 6 p.m. Check out the showcases or sponsored concerts. There's usually some kind of performance or stage which are from radio stations, record companies or music groups that's pushing their best bands. There's usually places that make it out like stuff like free beer. For example, At The Kex is usually organised by a American radio station company and they just showcase some really, really good bands. But also this year, there's a special tour Iceland that's having a boat party which sounds absolutely amazing. New 
this year, they've decided to show some films during the festival at the local cinema. That way, if you, the music is becoming a bit too much, you can just kick back, relax, get some popcorn, get some drinks, and just watch some movies. Bit obvious, but you should definitely keep an eye on Twitter and Facebook. There's usually sometimes uh, special announcements for gigs, secret gigs, and also how busy a gig is. And for my last tip, I definitely recommend saying hi to me if you see me floating around. I'm always looking for interesting characters to hang out with. Also looking for some really good band recommendations. I'm currently going through the Mass Great Spotify play playlist myself. I've got a short list, so I'll include my own personal picks inside the description. Uh, follow me on Twitter, This Way Up. I'm gonna be doing some tweets on updates on what I'm doing, what I'm seeing. And also check me out on Instagram, This Way Up World. I'll be updating my stories constantly throughout the whole airwaves so you guys know what I'm up to. And hopefully you get some good ideas on uh, where to go. And you, you never know, you might see me floating around in the crowd. And that is my guide to Airwaves 2017. Some tips, I hope that's been useful for you guys. If you have any other tips or any other band recommendations, definitely add it, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, and if you found this useful, definitely hit the like button. And for more updates like this and more videos about travel, hit the subscribe and I'll see you hopefully at the festival.